All right, I'm out here in this field. This is the third tractor that broke down on Friday. Today is Sunday. Um, we were out here with tractors number one and two working up this field, which had about 20 odd acres of the 90 that was in prevent plant. It's so compact that I had such a poor stand of the corn that came up that we chisel plowed it and then started disking it. I'm going to put a cover crop, turnish, a purple top turnip and some sun hemp and leftover beans just to get something to grow and try to break up this compaction. So anyway, that 20 plus acres is a write-off. Never mind the seed cost. We're self-insured. But um, the first two tractors, okay, we managed to limp them back home. This happened all before noon, by the way. So Dad brought this 4020 out here, and we put it on a little disc. It can pull the little disc. And he called me two hours later and said there's a problem with the steering. So being a resident mechanic slash, I don't know, do a lot of stuff guy, I come out here and he says, well, it's just a bolt that fell out. I go, okay. Well, I took these uh, steering arms off. There's two of them. And they go in this bracket right here. Um, I thought it was just a matter of bolting this bracket back up because what had happened, I don't know if you can see, there's a bolt right up there. There's one, there's supposed to be four. There's another hole right there. See where that one should go? There's two on this side and two on the other. Well, this bracket has got to sit up above this piece of metal. So that there has got to get up and in. <laughs> so this thing has got to go back about two more inches. Well, the problem is it's such a tight fit. And then there's a pin up above that that sort of locates this bracket to the the housing up above and then there's threaded holes in that housing up there and these four bolts thread into it somehow almost all these bolts three of the four fell out and now there's no steering in this thing well i'm looking at this the only way to get that bracket up in there you've got to take the axle off because you've got to put it on first and then put the axle on so the axle c comes off there's four bolts here one two and then two on the other side and then you jack this up the frame put blocking under this here and you can take this axle out and then you can put this bracket in then you put the axle back on with these four bolts and line it up it's sort of a i don't know a huge project but it's a pain especially to try to do it out here so i'm not going to be able to do anything with this um like i said it's sunday Supposed to rain this afternoon and tonight, but I wanted to come out here and look at it and see what I could do, if anything, at least come up with a plan. So what I'm going to do, after it dries out, I'll get another tractor over here, the one of the four remaining that's big enough to do any real work, the one, the one remaining out of the four that's big enough to do any work, and drag this tractor over the edge of the field, which is about, oh, I don't know. Half a mile north up there, so I drove the pickup out here. Drag it to the edge of the field, and then we'll have to get a flatbed over here and tow it up and you know have it drug up to deer. Or maybe I can take it back to the shop and work on it, but I've got a lot of projects to do. So once it's on the trailer, I think I'm just going to have them do it because maybe there's some weird... I've never done one before, but it's better just to pay them. And then it's done. So now that I know that, uh, well, yeah. Oh, I want to say hi to my friends Natalie and Zave. Zave in particular. Sorry, I missed your uh, graduation on Saturday a couple days ago. There was a tiny, tiny chance I could have made that party, but uh, anyway, I'll make sure I come to the next one or try to. Bugs aren't too bad. I got a lot of bug spray on me. Uh, initially, I thought this would be a half-hour job. So I guess it's a choose-your-own-adventure thing. Um, never a dull moment, as they say. And you always have to think on your feet. So I'm doing a lot of that.
But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Whoever watches these things, I'm always kind of amazed that anybody watches them. And, well, I'll pack up and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.